Good morning, everyone. The intentions for Holy Mass this morning for Pope Francis, for our bishops and priests, for vocations to the priesthood and religious life. For Regina Pestagno and Bernie Ross on their birthdays, and for Sister Joan on her profession anniversary. For Sister Marga, for the poor, the sick, and the dying, and all those recommended to our prayers, for the souls in purgatory, for the conversion of sinners, and the reign of God's kingdom on earth. And it is the commemoration of the presentation of our Blessed Lady. Hail, Holy Mother, who gave birth to the King, who reigns heaven and earth forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And in your spirit. Sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. As we venerate the glorious memory of the Most Holy Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, O Lord, through her intercession, that we too may merit to receive from the fullness of your grace through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for behold, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of you, says the Lord. And many nations shall join themselves to the Lord in that day, and shall be my people. And I will dwell in the midst of you, and you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. And the Lord will inherit Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and will again choose Jerusalem. Be silent, all flesh, before the Lord, for he has roused himself from his holy dwelling. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He who is mighty has done great things for, for me, and, and holy is his name. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. He who is mighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. For he has regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. He who is mighty has done great things for me. And holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. He, he has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. 
He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted those of low degree. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and to his posterity forever. He who is mighty and great things for me is his name. Alleluia. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. While he was still speaking to the people, behold, his mother and his brethren stood outside asking to speak to him. But he replied to the man who told him, Who is my mother? And who are my brethren? And stretching out his hand towards his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brethren. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. So this feast of the presentation of Mary uh, is sometimes confused in ordinary Catholics' minds with the presentation of the Lord, which is, of course, the 2nd of February. And this feast is based on a story in an apocryphal gospel of James, uh, which tells the story of the infancy of Mary, among many other things. And so as an apocryphal gospel, it's not proclaimed in the church as an authentic gospel. But this feast is actually quite significant in the Eastern Church. It was begun, um, this sort of legend, you would say, uh, but it was begun as a feast uh, in Jerusalem at the building of the first church in honor of Mary in the East. And it has uh, always been kept in the East, but in the West we've been a bit uh, nervous about it, or somehow uh, some popes have uh, scrapped it altogether, others have brought it back, and so it is still in our liturgy, uh, as a general feast of Our Lady. In fact, it's very interesting that uh, the choices of readings uh, in the Divine Office uh, are from St. Augustine, who preached about this feast. And the heart of St. Augustine's message uh, shows us the importance of this feast. Because Augustine, in preaching about the presentation of Mary, being Mary as a little child being presented in the temple, is that he says, it is a greater thing for Mary that she was Christ's disciple than that she was his mother. <coughs> that might surprise us uh, because we constantly think about the great privilege of Mary carrying the word of God for these nine months and then being his mother until his ascension into heaven. 
But Augustine insists that Mary's mind was filled more fully with the truth than her womb was with the flesh. So the spiritual relationship with the Lord is more important even than the physical relationship, mother and child. And the spiritual relationship is based, as Jesus says in today's Gospel, on those who do the will of my Father in heaven. Such are my brother and sister and mother. Of course, Mary herself did the will of the Father in heaven. And therefore, she is doubly blessed in mind and in body. And we pray for a share in that devotion, that dedication to the will of God, and that prayer that her son taught us. Thy will be done. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your rest for the praise of the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his own Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with these sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this uh, feast of the presentation of the Blessed Mary, Ever Virgin. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim in the death of the Lord and profess generous resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one 
by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. Blessed is the womb of the Virgin Mary, which bore the Son of the Eternal Father.
Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits we wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen.